Mark Chamberlain, Chief Support, 9-0. How does that feel? Great. Obviously, we move on now, 9-0. Hopefully, get another one in before Christmas. Let's get to 10-0, and then let's move on from there. You said just before we started this that it took you a little while to get through the gears today, felt a bit rusty. How did that affect your performance? Did you think, were you rushing your work, or did you, how were you in there? I felt a little bit rusty at the start, purely because I boxed six months ago, and I only done like a minute. And obviously, I was supposed to do eight rounds, which is great. Obviously, we don't get paid over time, do we? You know that. But we get the rounds in in the gym, and it's not the same as performing on the night. Now, I've done all the hard work, and other boxers can tell you. I wouldn't say I had an off night. I had a little bit of rust in there. After two rounds, I started to find my distance and finding the openings, and then it proved it worked because I broke him down, and he didn't come out for the fifth round. Obviously, originally, you were scheduled to fight tomorrow night. That show was cancelled. There was a moment the other day where it felt like the fight might not happen. You were put on tonight, which is great. Did that affect you in any way, do you think? No, not at all. Obviously, at first, it was a bit stressful because I got the call on the Wednesday, I think, when it was the public work. I was just about to get in the car to come up to London. And they said, hold fire. Show's cancelled. And I, I thought, oh, no, what's going on? Am I going to fight or not? Are they going to move me to Friday? And they didn't say nothing. So as it was, my stable mate, Ryan, he got pulled off completely. So I thought the same was going to happen to me. And then half hour goes by, I get a phone call. They're moving you to Friday to be chief support. And I can't thank, thank Frank any more than that for doing what he's done for me. So from your perspective, bringing it forward 24 hours, that's not responsible for the rust in there tonight? No, no, not at all. I just put it down to not being inactive, not at all. Just not getting the rounds in, keep blasting people away. I, I want to do the rounds. I, I, I wish he'd come out for five, six, seven and eight because I'm going to learn more. And being in there with an opponent like him, that could be a bit dangerous, because I think he'd stop nine people out of 16 fights, so he can obviously whack. And fair play to him, I caught him, he went over, and he carried on. Well, he went into survival mode, but he still carried on. So fair play to him. He caught you with a shot on the chin at one point. Did you feel that in there? Yeah, do you know what? That woke me up a little bit. That was like a little bit, keep your right hand up, because uh, in, in one of my previous fights, I kept dropping my right hand, and we've been working on keeping the right hand up. I dropped it and I, I had to pay the price for it. So as simple as that. It didn't hurt me, but it's sort of like, keep your hand up, if you know what I mean. And yeah. So obviously tonight in there, he, went, he lasted four rounds. He was lively, he moved about a bit. He caught you on the chin at one point. But there's still ways to go. You're developing, you're a prospect. That's the kind of point of the show tonight. Is that what you're looking for now is some step up fights? Is that what you're after? 100%, yeah. I, I want the big fights. Like they just stood me and Sam up in front of the screen there and we had a little chat and that. Like I just spoke to Francis, we're both in our own paths at the minute. When we cross, we'll we're talk about that at the time, but that is a great domestic fight that, that's got to happen in my eyes because we're both big punchers, both very liked prospects, and I think they can make it into one hell of a fight. We actually spoke to Sam Noakes earlier, he came by, we had a little word with him, and he said the same thing as you, that's the fight that has to happen, but it has to, it has to cook a bit first before it's ready. In his mind, it has to be for a British title at the bare minimum. Do you agree with that? Definitely. It's got to be worth our while for both of us. Um, it, it wouldn't make sense. We know that in the boxing world to not fight now. They want to build it up. And I was just speaking to Francis, European or something like that. Let, let's, let's see what they can bring up at the time and let's get the fight made and make, give the fans what they want. Like you say, you're both big punchers. You're both famous for stopping opponents tonight. The fella didn't come back out for the fifth round. In the spirit of full disclosure, I asked Sam Noakes, would he knock you out? He said the fight wouldn't go the distance and he gave a cheeky grin. Would you knock Sam Noakes out? Listen, I think if I caught anyone on the chin, they're going out. It proved it then. He didn't get out for the fifth round. You say um, Ryan Garner, one of your gym mates, unfortunately can't fight this weekend, but you fight in a very competitive gym um, down in Southampton with Wayne. You've got Ryan Garner, you've got, Lee, you've got the Frankums, you've got the young boy now, Royston Barney-Smith. Being in that environment, does that make you a better fighter, do you think? Definitely. I mean, the gym's buzzing at the minute. Obviously, my brother as well has just signed with Frank, so he'll hopefully be out in the next month or two. And yeah, when we're all in the gym, we bounce off each other and it's good vibes in the gym. I mean, it's a good thing to talk about now because obviously this is the first in Frank's series of prospect shows. Um, tonight you've got Chief Support. Would you like to headline one of these on BT Sport and BT Sport YouTube? Definitely. It, it, it's something that I've been waiting for for a long time and I think I've finally earned my spot to do so and to be Chief Support tonight. It was unbelievable on a prospect show. I mean, you're no stranger to TV. We've seen you a few times now on BT Sport, but tonight it was also on the YouTube page, which means there might be people out there watching who don't have BT Sport and maybe haven't seen you fight before. To those sort of people who want to watch you and want to follow your career, what can they expect from Mark Chamberlain in the future? Just explosive, ex uh, explosive performances like that, and they're only going to get better and better. 
Well, well done tonight, mate. Before I let you go, any messages for any friends, family or whatever? Yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for the support, friends, family, and most importantly, my sponsors. I should have my top on now, but I've left it at the ringside. But massive thank you. They know all they, who they are, so thank you.